In this video, we're going to have a look at this new Power BI auto refresh feature for PowerPoint. We're going to look at the basics of how to implement this from scratch, as well as some limitations to be aware of if you're thinking of using it. All of that and more. So without further ado, let's get started. Hi, my name is Fernan and welcome to the Solutions Abroad YouTube channel, where we cover tips, tricks, and best practices when working with Power BI. I upload new videos every week, so make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified when a new one is out. So in the latest Power BI April 2024 updates, there were a bunch of minor updates to the storytelling for Power BI in PowerPoint. This is basically a feature where you can embed live interactive Power BI reports into your PowerPoint slides. One of these features is the ability to automatically refresh the display of your Power BI reports that you embed on PowerPoint on a regular interval, which is a feature that is really useful if you want to preview your reports to update automatically without needing to manually do anything. So seeing this update, I already thought of some really great use cases for this, like for example, showing your Power BI reports on a big screen in a physical location where you want or you're showing some live updates for some data that it needs to be updated on a very regular interval, like maybe some flight information, weather, temperature, things like this. Basically, any dashboard that needs frequent live updates would greatly benefit from this feature. Just to note that this refresh is just a display refresh of your reports, not the data refresh of your semantic model. So you still need to be aware of when your data, your semantic model is being refreshed because the refreshed value of your report is what's being refreshed on the PowerPoint uh, side of things. So it's not gonna just hit the refresh button for you every couple of seconds. It's just to refresh that kind of preview of your Power BI page onto those slides. So as I mentioned, the type of reports that would greatly benefit from this would be reports that need to be updated on a very frequent basis, seconds or maybe even minutes because you can set this continuous refresh to be in those intervals. So reports using direct query connections where you have live connection to your data sources would greatly benefit from this. Uh, not to say that the import mode can't, it's just that those refreshes might be less frequent than a direct query or live connection. For our demo today, I don't have any direct query reports to demo to you, uh, but I will utilize some volatile functions just to show you how the reports or the slides are getting updated when you set up this continuous auto refresh. So to start with, here is a report that I built with just a few tables. I have a calculations table, which I typically use for all of my measures. And I also have a months table here, which I'm going to use to show some bar charts, some fake bar charts later. And for now, what we're going to do is we're going to create a report that can or we can preview automatically updates with this continuous refresh. So what we're going to do first is we're going to create a new measure and we're going to use uh, date time now and I'm going to use UTC now as the result of this measure. So I'm going to hide the column there. I'm going to bring in our date time now into a card. And as you can see, it just gives you a preview of kind of what date and what time it is currently. Now, the benefit of using measures is that you can, or this is dynamic, so which means that if you hit the refresh, uh, which is, this is a data refresh, you will see that the date and time or the time will just update kind of uh, as and when that gets refreshed, but also the measures get recalculated every time you refresh the display, not necessarily the data. So this is what we're going to use uh, because it it does that. I'm going to show you actually first um, what that means. So I'm going to publish this into the service. First of all, we're going to go to uh, publish it in my workspace for now. So now that it's published, we're going to just follow that link, open up in uh, in the service here. 
as you can see it's uh, giving us the current time now and uh, what you'll notice is that if I hit the refresh visual here you'll see that the time updates dynamically I don't need to and as you can see that refresh is a refresh visual refresh not a data refresh so we didn't have to go to the semantic model to update it and this is exactly what the refresh type is in the uh, PowerPoint storytelling for Power BI. So it refreshes the visual of your reports, not the semantic model. So what we're going to do is we're going to copy this and we're gonna go to PowerPoint to try and embed this report. So we're gonna go to home, the home ribbon. We're gonna go to add ins. We're gonna choose a Power BI storytelling with Power BI is going to prompt me to log in. So now that I am logged in, it will give me some recommended list of reports in my kind of workspace that I've recently worked with. And we can see my date time report here. You can simply just select this or paste the URL that I've copied from the service. It, it's the same thing, but uh, we'll use this feature because it's a newly, newly added feature. Um, in Power BI. So as you can see, it's already showing us a preview of that page with the date time card that we've added. We're just going to choose page one and hit insert. So here we go. So it's giving us a preview of that uh, of that date and time right now. So you have a bunch of features here on the bottom right. Data options, if you click refresh, will basically just manually refresh the visuals that you have. So as you can see, it's updated the seconds. And on this here, add in options, you have this option to automatically refresh in slideshow. So you can adjust how often this refreshes. So either in seconds, minutes, or hours. So we're gonna have a look at that in a second. So we'll, we'll leave it to 30 seconds for now. So now that we've embedded it, and we know how to refresh it and we know how to set it up. One thing that you'll notice is that in this view, it doesn't really update. It's only when you go to the slideshow mode that this will automatically refresh and update. We're gonna loop back to that in a second. Um, but for now, let's go back to the Power BI report that we've just created because I want to add another visual here. So I'm gonna bring in my dates here, which is just a list of months. And I want to preview or show the bar charts basically shifting as the report visual gets updated. So to make this happen, we're going to use a volatile function called rand or rand between both of these will work. And the benefit of using these functions, at least for demo purposes, is the fact that they don't have a fixed value. So every time you update the visual, the report visuals that you have, these numbers also get updated. So it's just for me to show that the how the kind of visuals change when it gets refreshed on PowerPoint. So I'm going to choose 2000 to 50,000 here. I'm going to bring in sales. We're going to adjust it to be, let's say, a bar chart. So I'm going to keep it like this, just, just to be simple. Just hit publish. We'll just overwrite the current reports that uh, we've published. So now, um, before we show how this refresh works, because it's basically just updating it every number of seconds, right, on the slideshow mode, I'll show you the first issue that I have with the storytelling for PowerPoint. The first issue is that when you update or republish your reports uh, in Power BI service and you, you already embedded it into a PowerPoint, like now, for example, so for me, when, when I have published or republished that report, when I hit the refresh button here, I expect just the bar charts to be added. However, as you can see, it doesn't really update the whole report itself. Like where is the bar chart that I've just added? I'm pretty sure that I've added it because if I go to the Power BI service to refresh that visual, you will see that the bar chart is there. So it's only updating the 
visual that I have added there. So that can be a little bit problematic because I can already foresee myself forgetting that I have embedded it into a live dashboard like this in PowerPoint. So I need to re-embed that report to see my changes. So in this case, for you to be able to see those new updates, you need to clear data and reselect that report in the service. And here you go, you can see now the bar chart that we've, um, we've added. And there we go. So as you can see, now we have the bar charts here. Uh, pay attention to what happens because we're using volatile functions. If you hit refresh, you'll see that the not just the time updates, but also the bar chart. So that's pretty interesting. So that's how you kind of like how we will preview this later when we set the auto refresh. So looping back to the second limitation here, which is the fact that if you set up your auto refresh here, you can only preview this when you are in slideshow mode. So previewing it like this won't you won't you will never see this number updates unless you go to uh, the slideshow mode, which is when the counting will start ticking. Whereas, yeah, so if we set up and go to the slideshow mode here and you just give it 30 seconds, you will see that it will update or it should update automatically. There we go. So I don't know if you saw that, uh, but it basically just updated uh, in the 30 second mark with the uh, new set of bars. So it clearly is working. However, that's a little bit too long, right? Be um, we may want to do it or, or increase the, uh, the frequency. And uh, you can do that. However, the last kind of small limitation that you might find is that you can only go up to 15 seconds. So I think you, if you try to go lower, it will actually won't let you but if you try to put it in manually it will tell you that it, the limit is 15 seconds which for most use cases 15 seconds is is acceptable however it would have been nice to be able to refresh this every second like it would have been a really nice um, thing to see on the dashboard but i understand that it might be some sort of limitation uh, on the back end because uh, you will also notice if you refresh the if you use the manual refresh button uh, you can't just spam it because it will not work so it there is seems to be like a kind of an inherent limits to how often you re you can refresh your visual in uh, in a certain period so 15 seconds seems to be the maximum limit so as you can see like it's still not updating uh, it's gonna be like in 15 seconds or so so that's one thing to bear in mind it's it only goes up to 15 seconds and that's really it for this video i hope you now know how easy it is to set up this auto refresh feature for storytelling in powerpoint thanks for watching as usual give this video a like if you found it useful Give it a dislike if you didn't so to do better for next time. Ask your questions in the comment section box below so I can help you and you can help others. If you like this video, we have a Patreon page where you can support the channel and get exclusive perks like early access, demo files, and credits at the end of these videos. Thanks again for watching and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.